What's up everybody? What is it that you won't do on YouTube to get subscribers? Well, obviously I'm not doing something because my subscriber list won't get over 800. But, but, let's just pump the brakes real quick. Every 799 people that I got support me are the best people on YouTube. I know I'm sucking up to y'all a little bit. Y'all are awesome. The stories that y'all share with me are awesome. It's motivating. We're real life people here. I think YouTube is really taking the place of Hollywood because you actually get to interact with real people and hear real stories and people's real problems and how they conquer them on a day-to-day -day basis. Hollywood's a joke now. It's uh, sold out. <laughs> I think through this whole presidential election, we've seen people on both sides how they are. You know what? If you want to turn to the news, turn your TV off and turn to the good news, and that is the Holy Bible. Man, I am a preacher, ain't I? <laughs> or turn to this right here. Look at that. I know, I know. I've been talking about a job, but I got this magazine today. I requested it from Henry, and they make some beautiful firearms. And I, I'm a traditionalist. I love these old-timey type guns. And uh, I've just been sitting here just lusting over this, thinking, man, can next Christmas hurry up and get here? Like my birthday, I'm going to ask my wife, uh, here, just, just pick something. Just turn a page and put your finger on it and pick it. All right, now we'll get to the point of the video. What is it that I won't do to get subscribers? Now, when I first started my channel, it was called Small Town Dad, and I was getting a lot of subscribers at that time. Uh, obviously, I have a couple of videos that's got a lot of views on it, talking about the debt-free journey, and that's where most of the traffic for my channel comes from. Now, I get some subscribers from my faith-based stuff, but that kind of where my ceiling hits right there. When I talk, if I just focused on debt, I focused on my finances and really talked about that, the Dave Ramsey stuff, and I had a different name other than Small Town Preacher. If I, don't, I think if Preacher wasn't in that title, it was just Small Town Country Boy. If I put something like that, I believe I would have twice as many subscribers as I have now. But I put Preacher in there because I wanted people to see, hey, when you click on it, you know what you're getting. I ain't going to be one of these fake news. I ain't going to be a clickbait person. Now, that's the problem with YouTube. And I noticed this years ago before I even made a channel, uh, you would see these titles from these big YouTubers, and they would talk about some of the most random stuff. It would be like, my girlfriend left me today, and you'd click on the video, and the person and their girlfriend would be together the whole video, and you're thinking, huh? Or it'll say, my girlfriend or my husband cheated on me. You'd click on the video because you wanted to see what, what's going on here. And the husband and wife would be together, happy as can be. And then it'd be like she went and got a cheeseburger and didn't bring him one. And that was the point of the title. She cheated on him. It's just absolutely nuts. And if you notice, most of the big YouTubers, the big ones. Now, of course, they've talented. They got the edit time, the time to edit. They got the nice camera equipment. They got the, the, the people surrounding them, you know, to help them grow their channel. They obviously have to have a little skill somewhere. But a lot of it is based on trying to trick people. This pranks and stuff, these pranksters and these stuff, it's all fake. 99% of it's not real. But people, I think the younger crowd is uh is coming up and they see this and they think it's real you know like my nine-year-old son he showed me some of these videos from these big youtubers of them doing some crazy stuff and he thinks it's real and you can tell it's just so fake or what about the ones where they try to race bait people they'll put like a, a car with the keys in it and some and uh just for example a black neighborhood and they'll record it like it's real and like every black person that walks by it and, and jokes it. that's not true why do people buy into that stuff look i live in a neighbor i live in a small town there's a mixture of ethnicities. I can't say the word, but you know what I'm talking about. Everybody treats each other the same. We have a place called Los Rotales. We have people from Mexico. Some of them can't even speak, but they are a part of our community. We make some of the best food. Their business has been booming for the last 15 years. Great people. But the media and the news will tell you that everybody's racist. If you voted for Trump, if you're a, a white southern boy, you are racist. Well, I'd like to turn my camera around and show you my neighbor. She's black. She's got a little boy that's seven-year-old that's black, and him and my son are best friends. My little three-year-old runs around and chases him and walks everything he does. He spends the night over my house every weekend. So that's some things that I'm not going to do is engage into what society wants us to do, to, to fall into this baiting and, this, and these lies to try to jump on sides and do all this crazy stuff. I just stick to the truth. I stick to the Bible. 
So what's some things that I'm not going to do? I'm not going to make clickbait type, clickbait titles. I'm not going to ever do that to y'all. Whatever the video's about, it's what it's going to be about 99% of the time. I'm not going to sit there and make up something to make y'all click on it and then y'all not get what's real. You know, I'm a real person. I try to be as honest as I can and I hope that reflects through my channel and I'm not going to do this, uh, this uh, fake stuff that people do to gain subscribers. I just don't want to trick people. If I have subscribers, I want people with a connection. I don't want people just joining me because they think I'm fake. I want to be real because eventually people's going to see the lies and it's not going to add up. And I know I got on a rant here. It's just uh, it's just crazy. I haven't watched the news in months. I turn it on. It's just the same old mess. It's just bull crap. Both sides. It's just they want to try to put us in little, they want to label us. They put us here, here, and here, then just like put us in a ring. We all go against each other. It's just absolutely nonsense. What's some other things I'm not going to do? Well, I got another channel, a shooting channel. I, I like to review guns and stuff like that. I love guns. I've been around them all my life. I like to hunt. So I've had that channel for a few years. It's got like 1,050 subscribers. Now, a lot of people, they will take a gun channel and they will put their wife or, or a girlfriend or some girl like in a bathing suit shooting the gun. So what's a man going to do? And coming from a man, even though I'm a preacher, yes, the visual of a woman attracts men. It does. You you are almost wanting to click it. You almost can't help but click it because you want to see it. And guess what? The whole video, you don't see a girl in a bathing suit. They just put it as the title or the picture to get people to click on it. So you're not going to see me in a bathing suit. I know y'all want to. I mean, look at this. Look, I know y'all want to. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just not going to. And plus, you kind of see I got a beard here. I'm a, I'm a little bit of a hair. I'm a man. I am a man. I got hair on me. So y'all ain't got to worry about that. What else am I not going to do? I'm not going to click bait. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be in the bathing suit. Uh, <laughs> those are things that I'm not going to do to try to gain subscribers. And I'm not going to denounce Jesus. I'm not going to put Jesus in the background. Kind of like put him in the closet over here. And only and change my name. And try to be nothing, something I'm not. That's why I wanted my name Small Town Preacher. So hey, you know that I'm a preacher. You know that I believe in God. And some point in my videos, you're going to hear me mention God. So when you click on the video, you already know that, hey, I know where this man stands. And you can either join my channel and subscribe, or you can go on. That's fine. I'm not forcing nothing down your throat. If you continue to watch, hey, that's on you. So I love Jesus. I'm a Christian. I preach his word every Sunday. I preach he's coming back. He is. I also preach that sin is sin. Hell is hell. And people go there daily by their choice. Uh, so I'm not ever going to be a feel-good preacher. I try to motivate people through Jesus, but I also let people know, hey, there's an other side to this. You think America's bad because of this politician or, or this person or this or what? Satan has so much control. He's in Hollywood. He's in the media. He's in movies. He's in the Internet. He's everywhere through people that you work with. He's even in some people at church. Yes, he is. He will use people to turn people away from church. I've seen it. So I'm going to preach the truth as much as I can. I love y'all. Y'all are awesome. And uh, I hope that you continue to stay with my channel. We keep on building it. We keep on growing. Maybe we'll get over 800. I had 170 subscribers a month in October. November came around. It dropped down to 15 subscribers a month. What happened? I may just have to go get me a bathing suit. No, I'm joking. I'll show y'all later. God bless you. Those are a few things that I'm not going to do to grow subscribers on YouTube. I'm not going to be something that I'm not. And if I stay under 1,000 subscribers for the next 10 years, so be it. I'm still going to be me. I'm still going to be loving life. My passion is this right here. I love to collect guns. My passion is my kids, my family. I love them. I love God. That's what really matters in life. This is just something extra to help motivate you to get out of debt, motivate you to get on fire for God, and motivate you to get out of, if you're in a bad situation, how you can turn to a good situation. Anyways, guys, I'm just rambling out. This is a long video. Y'all like this lighting kick out right here? I've had it for a while. I just never use it. All right, holler at y'all later. Look at that. Maybe I need to do blue eye ones. All right, see y'all later. <laughs>